This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Baldur, I'm back here with another episode of Vanguard Bandits. In the last episode, we helped take Ereba Castle over with, or I guess defended in this case, with, uh, with Zakov, well, with no help from Zakov. So we were able to do it, earn Bastion's place in the Empire, at least for now, and the Empire's victory so they aren't completely overrun by the kingdom. Though I don't know why Bastion kind of wants that. I mean, he doesn't really, but I guess, you know, circumstances and all that other stuff so oh well I can do the only question I have is why was chapter 8 called Bastion secret that was the previous one where we found out he was the prince of the kingdom not this chapter did I miss something yeah whatever anyway yeah oh I forgot to mention that last time we found out Bastion was the prince of the kingdom even though we knew that from previous playthroughs shh, shh, shh. let's just let's just go on Today we have to fight Logan to sign some peace accords, and the only way he's going to do that is by fighting him. Yeah. Don't be fooled by Duke Logan's kind demeanor, Bastion. He's a completely ruthless warrior. Oh well, I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. I'm worried about this confrontation with Duke Logan. Uh, we need to support him there, you have it. I see. Flaring up again, my hip is. Need to reduce the swelling with ice, I do. Ah, you're old. That's your thing. It's like it's like a uh, it's like Barlow's thing from uh, the Kingdom Path. Cause he's fat. Well, in this case, it's cause I'm old. It's cause you're old. You're too old. You're really old. All right, anyway. Let's do that and Cecilia. Bastion, remember that whatever we talk about, it always stays between us. It's our business. No one else's. Whoa. Okay, Cecilia, that's fine. I, I'll, I respect you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna brag about your cup size and all that. I mean, I think a blow for Duke Logan's crimson can disable an attack. So watch out for behind. How would you know that, Cecilia? You haven't fought him in the past, have you? Of course not, Princess. I just know a lot about the attacks of the Khan, and it's part of my job. Ooh. If you know anything else about her opponents, Cecilia, don't be afraid to tell us. All right. All right. Yeah, we know from the Kingdom Path that uh, Logan is quite a hard hitter, so uh, got to be careful. At least it's only Chapter Eight, so he won't hit as hard. But it'll still hit pretty hard, so be careful not to get back attacked and all that stuff. So, are your Atax prepared, Sadira? <laughs> then begin. All right, let's do it. First off, we got three Nordelanes in the in the Rahabors hand axes, level eleven. High power, low base, so not too bad. Uh, it's, and they got fire, so they can move through the forest easily, so they're easier to move towards us. And they got melting fire and fireball, which means they do damage, so I have to be careful there. Then we got Claire in her in her version of her iron lager, with also red gem as well, so she's got strong fire. So she's also not as strong as her dad, but she's pretty powerful too, so we have to, we have to be careful in this game. Either high defense or high agility is where you want to go, so... All right, and we got Logan in the uh, 18, in the Crimson. I don't think we actually... Oh, he's got his Blood ba Blade and his Bloodstone. Um, and he's got really high power. Oh, boy. Okay, so he is as strong as when we fought him in the previous chapter in the Kingdom Path. Guy's got all the fire stats. Oh, boy, this is going to be hard. I think, I think the way to beat him is... Well, other than lowering his... Or raising his FP to zero him out, but I think you don't actually have to kill him. I think we just have to hit him in half or something like that. But all right, let's do it. Yeah, this is gonna suck because I have all deck space characters, so one hit might might crunch me out. So now let's see what happens. Oh, uh, check. oh, let's see what the tactics are for this one. Win a five against five group battle, and it doesn't even fit the box. Way to go! Uh, 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 working designs. Alright. Uh, units wise, uh, everyone's levels are pretty solid. I'd like them to get another level if I could, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, not really, uh, not really expecting that, so, anyway. Oh, and, uh, Sheen, uh, oh, I forgot to mention Sheon. He's in, uh, Rob or. He just has a higher level than the other dudes, and he has a, uh, looks like he has a uh, ice gem, so anyway. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully we don't get all of them to tag us, or maybe we'll be able to uh, kind of, uh, 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 maybe surround like one or two of the weak ones.
Okay, we got Claire. Might be able to handle her. We can keep her... Yeah, I just gotta wait for her to get kind of move a bit closer without dragging them all to me. Could Cecilia handle this guy by herself? I think she could. Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think I might just stay there. Yeah, they're all moving, so we have to be careful. Good, Logan's not moving yet. Oh, she doesn't have enough movement to... Uh... Okay, that'll be good. Do I want to hit a tornado, though? I'm gonna settle this just like we used in military school, Claire. Whatever! Did you totally forget my record at school duels with 729 wins and zero losses? Nor did I forget how many, many, most of the boys secretly enjoyed letting you beat them up, Claire. But I'm gonna enjoy beating you up! Oh, well, we got some tension there. We only barely talked about it in the, uh... Um, oh. Shoot, probably shouldn't have uh, had someone be uh, low. All right, well, whatever. Just beat Claire up. Beat her up! Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Whew. All right. Yeah, I got to be careful. We don't want to leave Claire there. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Melting Fire is supposed to lower your... Uh, yeah, I thought that guy was going to move down, so I'm kind of a... Oh, can I have a turbulence? Or heard of a turbulence? That's fine with me. Yeah, as long as it's not her dad. Do I want to stay there or move? Might attack and then. Nice. Okay, good. Move her up there. Wow, she's got every everything under the sun. Closer, Franco. Franco, my boy! Ah, it'd be apropos to have, uh, have her fin- Aw. I was about to say, it'd be apropos to have her finish off. Yeah, there we go. Now let's show the- Let's show the, like, see if they say anything. Probably not anything. The lot- Hey, Dad's gonna get revenge for me. Alright. I went again. Hip hip hooray! Funny the princess to say something like that. Anyway. This is like my worst fight ever. Yay! Got rid of the princess, or got rid of uh, Logan's daughter. Logan's run? Not quite. Okay, gotta be careful here. Just because. Cecilia hit, got hit that last time, so I don't want to... Okay, it looks like Logan's not going to be moving for a while. Although that means leaving Halleck out there by herself. I could, but probably not worth it. No. Try avoiding. Sure. I didn't realize Ice Shards would do that much damage to the guy. Alright. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. The fact that we didn't get Logan to attack us uh, works out in our favor quite well. Nice, frozen. Alright, what's our units at? Let's see. I think the princess is... She's only 13. Oh yeah, she didn't get a level from that, so... Now let's go ahead and give her that kill, too. Why not? That should get her level. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. She's got plenty of agility, so I think we can, uh... I think we can, uh... 
upgrades everything else. I guess that Cecilia didn't need to level too badly because of uh, because of her being alone with. Uh oh, well, it looks like Logan starting to move. I might use uh, uh, Bastion to uh, keep him like because that's a block point, right? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do because Bastion's got decent enough at stats in general, so he might be able to survive. 99% game. Ugh. Okay, whatever. I'm not annoyed. Not at all. Duke Logan, you seem like a nice man, so I promise not to embarrass you too badly in front of your daughter. Ha ha ha! Your ego will make you that much easier to beat, my friend. Here, I'll show you. Why don't I show you how to lose gracefully instead? Nice. Oh, gained a level. Excellent. Alright. Yeah, keep evening, 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 evening out Bastion, so, you know reasons. God, I can't believe I bought a miss on 99%. Freaking crazy. Razzin' fragging rabbit. Anyway. Alright, now that we now that we're just kind of blocking these guys off, we should be fine. I was kinda of worried there for a bit, I'll admit. Oh we don't wanna oh wait we still need hurt because Ah nah that's I didn't want to give her the experience. Whoops. Oh well. That's fine. We still got. Oh boy. Cross your fingers. Woo! That's not cool, game. That's. Ah, oh, no! Bastion's frozen. Hopefully, his agility's high enough to, uh. Uh, to, uh. Oh, wow, I forgot about that. Oh, nuts. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I'll let Franco take him out. I, congr uh, I congratulate you on your victory. My calculations had the odds of my defeat. Oh, wait, didn't I give him the nerve voice? I congratulate you on your victory. Oh, wait, no, that was Puck, never mind. Uh, my calculations had the odds of my defeat at 10,000 to 1. Goodbye. Whew. Nice, Franco. Boost up his decks back to the stone was. Yeah, let's keep that agility up for the most part. Can I hit him from here with turbulence? Yes. This will do, this will do damage. That's what we need. I have to waste my turn walking around. Let's get those hits in before he wakes up. Nice. Okay, good. There is her pow. Get that dex up. Get another point of agility. Or no, wait. No, never mind. I'm good. Okay. Good. I'm good. Alright. Yeah, let's get that experience. Nice, we're actually doing a lot better against Logan than I thought that we would. Oh wow, I didn't know how... I didn't realize the ice stat... Because usually, elemental stuff doesn't really affect too many things, so I was kind of surprised that uh, elemental damage did something to Logan. Okay, what's our level set? Pretty... Uh, I'd like Halleck to get a hit. Uh, oh right, she's got, she might die from a, a combo from him. I just have to weaken him, or just slowly, like, just... Nuts. That would kill him. Nuts. I should finish him off. I really should. Uh, I gotta gain all those levels. I might be able to give Halleck some levels next time. Let's see, does he go next? He... Oh, no, Halleck... Uh, but she might get killed, though. Yeah, let's let's try. Let's just let's see if we can kill him with her ability. No, that's
Actually, let's get Cecilia the kill. Victor! Victory is yours! Yeah, I'll just give Halleck the levels next time. Because I don't want to... So let's wait your level stats a bit. I'll be damned! So it is! <laughs> well, Bastion, humility is not your strong suit, apparently. Or you're losing graciously. Congratulations, Sidira. I should have known your fighting style would be as beautiful as you are. He might be a dirty old man, Sidira, but I'm starting to enjoy the way he makes you squirm. Oh, hush up! Duke Logan can flatter me as much as he wants now that we're allies. Style and battle, Sidira. I was totally impressed by your skills. Oh, huh. see, so uh, uh, you think Claire would hold more of a grudge? Thank you, Claire. I only wish our school instructors could have been here to watch me thrash you. I would love to stay and speak more with the Duke, with you, Duke Logan, but I'm afraid we're in somewhat of a rush. You're in a hurry? Then I totally have to go and get all my stuff ready. What? And, and why are you in a hurry, redhead in a bottle? <laughs> Speak for yourself, Sadira. Like, duh, because I'm going with you, of course. Are you getting so excited or what? Oh, uh, Claire, I'm so excited. I'm about to scream at your father for coming up with this awful idea. You wanted us to be your allies, right? Coming with you is the best alliance of all. Miss Claire, the preparations on your ATAC are complete. I supervise the work from beginning to end. You're so sweet, Sean. Thank you so much. Duke Logan. Duke Logan, I strongly advise you to reconsider. I cannot guarantee your daughter's safety. Sadira, you and your friends are skilled fighters. My sweet Claire will be fine. I will miss you, darling. And I totally, I totally miss you too, Daddy. How about a hug? Claire, you know how I feel about public displays of affection. I can't believe that I'm forced to travel with the girl who stole my boyfriend in military school. Oh, okay then. What's wrong, Sadira? Afraid of a little competition for my affections? <laughs> okay, now Bastion, this clearly means Bastion's gloating in all the attention. You should be happy, Princess. Now we have six party members. All right, all right. Come on, Claire, before I come to my senses. Awesome, another team member. Hooray, more party members with Claire, the daughter of Duke Logan. Unfortunately, she's not in a unique ATAC, so... Oh, well. Sadira, I totally get... I'm totally getting nervous. Nervous? Haven't you traveled much outside Nordlane before? It's not that. Aren't we inside the border of Hibernia now? Yes, we just passed the border a few sectors ago. Why? That's what I thought. It's going to be really awkward for me here. Why do you say that, Claire? Do they have a law here outlawing the use of the words like to like and totally? No, silly. It's just that, like, her Bernie and Nordelaine have been so fighting each other lately. Daddy's even getting ready to launch an invasion against them. Maybe they won't recognize my ATAC. That could happen, right? Don't! My head hurts. What? Your father's at war with that Bernia? Why didn't you think to mention that small detail somewhat sooner in our journey, Claire? Because I totally didn't know we were coming here, silly. Why should I have to tell you when you could have figured it out for the direction we are heading in? Oh, yeah. Well, that's like a great idea. I'll try that with night next time, okay? Enough! We're ta taking you back to do Logan before I strangle the life out of your brain-dead body. Princess, we're being approached by a large group of Atax. Oh, well, I guess we have to fight now. I bet it'll just be totally fun. I'm starting to believe that you did this on purpose, Claire. <laughs> I kind of really like the bickering with the with the Empire group. You know, it's... I don't know, it's really entertaining. Uh, and the test is over. So Logan's runner, Logan te uh, Logan's test has been a success. Logan has been beaten. It's weird. Oddly enough, I'm kind of surprised we beat him so easily. Well, relatively easily anyway. But now he's become an ally. An ally of us anyway. And Claire has joined the team. Let's check her out before we finish today's episode. Episode's going to be a bit short. Alright, Cecilia joins us. Or, Cecilia. Claire joins us in her iron logger. Uh, not a unique new unit, unfortunately. But, oh well. And, yeah. I mean, I could have bought some stuff from the shop for her. But she comes with a dark blade and ruby. And the fairy earring. So she's good to go. 
Oh, she comes with... Uh, I'll keep her on her fire gem, because that'll give one for each. So, Cecilia and Wind, Claire and Fire, Halicon, Earth, and Franco and Water, I think will work. And then we'll leave, obviously, Zero and Bastion for obvious reasons. If you don't have not watched the Kingdom storyline, well, let's just say... We can't change Claire's thing and swap her out if we really want to, but I don't really see any sense for the most part. Uh, other than that... Claire, I don't think has any unique abilities either to work towards, so boot, beast, boost up however you want. Probably would suggest pow keeping up with her power stat and basically make her like a Logan plus for in the game. So, uh, really got nothing else for you, for you people. This is a short episode, so uh, let's go ahead and save it. But yeah, now we have to deal with uh, Hibernia. So can we? Uh, Will we be able to do uh, deal with the uh, the leader there, Alden? Because, uh, you know, this ain't the Kingdom Path, so will he be able to be convinced to join the Empire, especially now that Bastion is there? Perhaps the ability that he now knows he's the Prince will help us out uh, with convincing Hibernia and the Duke Alden to join us. Boy, so many questions, so little answers. We'll find out next time in the next episode if we can convince him after all. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.